What's up, guys? Welcome to NMDTV. Kane's all, Kane's all there. If you rock it with you, then you know what to do. Hit that like and subscribe button so you never miss out on the video. This week is what Miami Hurricanes live for. Just constant news. Players coming in, players going out. This player, that player. It's a beautiful thing. As a content creator, I love it. So let's talk about Tyler Van Dyke first off. Tyler Van Dyke re-upped his NIL deal with Life Wallet. I did do a video about the reports about two weeks ago that said him and Jake Garcia were playing to come back. Well, I think this all but seals Tyler Van Dyke coming back to Miami. Tyler Van Dyke QB1. My thoughts, and which will continue to be my thoughts, is we need to get a quarterback out of the portal, a mobile quarterback, to compete with Tyler or to start over Tyler. Tyler Van Dyke's our QB1. He's coming back. Garcia coming back. Let's run it back, okay? Kamari Rogers. Now, Kamari Rogers is a defensive back who has now entered the transfer portal, you know? He was with Miami for a couple years, never got an opportunity to play. Most of us know him from his father tweeting defensive back coach uh, Jamel Adai. You know, he, he was tweeting stuff like, I got a big stick and, you know, you're influencing my child and all this stuff. Bottom line is his father got mad because he didn't play in the blowout win over Georgia Tech. Well, now Kamari has entered the transfer portal. Wish you the best, my friend. Now to somebody else who won't be a Miami Hurricane, Connor Liu. Now, Connor Liu has been in the 2023 class for a while now. He's been, he's been committed for a while. It came down to us and Auburn. Well, credit to Auburn because they never gave up on the recruiting. They, you know, they had a horrible season. Coach got fired. They got new Hugh Freeze, but they never gave up on the recruitment of uh, Connor, and they ended up getting him, you know, because Connor put out a note today that he's decommitting from Miami and will play at Auburn. Also, you know, I know they said that uh, Connor wanted to be a pilot, so that played a part as well. Um, I'm not going to sit here and say Connor's not a good player because he's, he's one of, if not the best center in this 2023 class. Uh, and y'all know, I'm on record of saying I want as many offensive linemen as we can because I'm tired of our offensive line getting pushed around. Rather, we got to address that through the transfer portal or through recruiting, get us the offensive linemen in here. Mario, get them in here and get them developed. So I'm not going to say it won't be a loss, but what I will say, shout out to my guy, Manny, not Manny Diaz, but Manny from the group chat, is we are in the race in getting Samson Oak and Lola. If we're going strictly off what I'm reading, all the tea leaves, Miami's in the lead. And unless something crazy happens, when he commits between Miami, Florida, Michigan State, and whoever the fourth team is, you know, it's a good chance that he could be a Miami Hurricane. So Connor D. Kamen, it is what it is. Because not only are we in a recruitment to get Samson, Oak, and Lola, but tonight we're on commit watch with Ruben Bain. So I don't want people to get caught up in the decommitment. The decommits suck, but we got a chance to add two top-tier players by the end of this week and maybe move into top five, top five, top five, top five. Let's not get crazy, but it's very possible. Let me know what you guys think. I'm out.